Hi students, now let's look at the part 6, Organizational Control and Audit. So students, this area has been already covered in the Corporate Governance section, but I will be doing the areas which was not covered because this area effectively focuses on internal auditors and that we have already summarized in the Governance section. So students, if I'm not mistaken, exam focus. Now one thing students which is a hidden topic is fraud. Now fraud is something that has not been tested for a long time because fraud is illegal because it is punishable offense as well. Example, you are stealing money from the company, it is fraud and when there is a fraud, you have to increase the controls within the organization. For instance, if I'm mistaken, if people are taking money, okay, that is fraud. Agree no students, taking money is fraud. The controls that you can place is approvals because some approval is needed in order to take money so that is the control for example people are stealing the furniture if people are stealing the furniture the controls they can have is they can have a coding a code for the furniture that means if the people are stealing we can be able to understand the furniture number what they were stolen and then we can bring it back for a police complaint anything like that so students if i'm not mistaken just to make your thinking easier this section again is a common sense. It all depends on the exhibit what you get in the examination. So one thing we have is called SPAM SOAP. We call it as the SPAM SOAP. This is a, a abbreviation, but again students not tested in the exam. But I just will give you how you can implement a strong intense segregation of duties. You make sure accountability is there. One one person has their own duty. Then students have physical controls like CCTV, camera, this coding, all these things are physical control. Then authorization, because students authorization is very important. Someone needs to authorize whatever the things that you are doing. And after authorization, management control. Now management control is very, very important in corporate governance because there needs to be a top level person who is ensuring all these things are there. And then supervisory is very, very important. And then students access control. Now login, everything is access control for students. You have to have your ID card access control. And the other one is personal control, which is the best. The people need to have understanding of their importance. Personal control is there. And then students systems in an organization. Now this is also one thing just for the idea. The systems in the organization is something called the expert information system. That is generally giving data relating to technical knowledge of highly important things. Then there is something called the management information system. Now if you see management information system, it is something more like I can say effectively for the higher level management. And then decision support system. Decision support system is also there. That is for day to day activities, what are the decision support you can give. And then students, the other one is transaction processing system. That is for everyday transaction, how are you making sure things are done. Now, can you remember students, in the pre-seen material, there was an article relating to business intelligence. Now, business intelligence is a form of system in the organizer, MIS. So, one thing students, in case MIS, you can use it for this and you can improve the controls like for uh, like an assurance can be done, something new is there. So you can keep that in mind for your understanding students. And the next one is fraud. Now students, fraud is something deliberate, deliberate, deliberate action, purpose with intention, deliberate actions with an intention, with an intention to, to, cause, to cause adverse effect to the company. That is fraud, no students, adverse effect. Like stealing, everything is fraud. Corruption is fraud. Spamming is fraud. All these are fraud. So how you can do is, firstly, culture comes into a picture. Can you remember culture? So fraud prevention, culture must be there. And then students, after you tell it to the people, there needs to be fraud detection, internal audit. It's very, very important. Fraud detection, which is internal audit. Just keep that in mind, students, which is internal audit and then students if i'm not mistaken the last one is called fraud response what do you do that is police complaints police complaints all those things you have to
tell it to the people well in advance so students if you are very much uh, skeptical just have an idea a fraud question if it arises because currently our company is managed by the founders we don't have proper data on how things are done so have an idea about this fraud system and other things there is nothing specific as i told you everything depends on the exhibit thank you students